Hi everybody. Our story today is Penguin's Special Delivery. Milo was the youngest in a long line of Penguin Post Penguins, but he wasn't going to be the youngest for long. Mom had laid an egg and soon there would be another little penguin in the post office. Milo wasn't sure how he felt about this. When will it hatch? He asked. Soon, said his mom. But the egg still hadn't hatched when Milo's mom had to go out on a food finding expedition. That meant somebody had to sit on the egg and that meant somebody else had to deliver the mail. You sit on the egg, said Milo's dad. No, I want to deliver the mail, said Milo, tipping over the bag and grabbing a large parcel. A parcel is a package. With a sigh, Milo's dad laid the egg down and stuffed the mail back into the bag. Milo read the address on the parcel. Ursula Major, 11 Glacier Glade, The Pole. BR5, 5RR. Milo set off across the ice until he reached the gate of number 11. He watched as Mrs. Major opened her parcel. What are these feathers for? He asked, chasing a handful across the garden. I'm going to fill a quilt for Baby Bear with them, explained Mrs. Major. How's the egg? Not hatched yet, said Milo. The next parcel was soft and squishy and absolutely enormous. The label read, Mama Oose, Treetop Skating Lane, The Pole, SL1 PPY. Slipping and sliding, Milo made his way uphill to treetops. Mama Oose was waiting for him. At last, she said, Baby Mooseling will be so pleased. How's the egg, by the way? It's still an egg, said Milo, hauling the parcel inside. Look, it's bigger than him. Mama Oose cut the string, snip, tore the brown wrapping paper, rip, lifted the lid of the box, creak, and took from the tissue paper, scrunch, a singing, ringing, Moose Papoose. When Milo left, Mama Oose was still trying to work out how to put Mooseling into the Papoose. Uh, I think Mooseling is upside down. The next package was quite small and it was addressed to Beautiful Vanity Hive The Buzzwalk The Pole BU2 2ZZ. It was quite a long way to Vanity Hive. So Milo took the shortcut. Ooh, look at him bouncing around. For me, squeaked Mrs. Tiffle, ripping open the package as soon as Milo handed it to her. Out fell a tiny zeep suit. Mrs. Tiffle sighed. It's the wrong color. Baby Tiffany would look like a hairy raspberry in this. How's the egg? Milo sighed. It hasn't hatched yet. The next parcel was a most peculiar shape. What do you think it is? Milo read the label and groaned. The cool cat, Dustin bin number eight, one chilled hill, the pole, me, ah, me, one, zero, O, W. Cool cat wasn't the problem. It was Cool Cat's kittens. They scratched and squeaked and meowed all day long. Milo really hoped the egg wouldn't do that. When he reached number eight, Milo put the parcel on the dustbin lid and ran very fast. The sky was growing dark and Milo wanted to go home. He peered into his mailbag, only two more parcels to deliver. He pulled out a small box addressed to Stella Polaris, Over the Pole, The Milky Way, The Cosmos, The Universe. Milo sighed. That was a long way away. 
but the male had to get through. So he walked across the ice, through the forest, and up the rickety rope ladder to the lonely place in the sky where Stella Polaris lived. Ms. Polaris, he called, I have something for you. Thank you, Milo, she said. I hope this is what I think it is. I've been waiting such a long time. Stella Polaris opened the box. Inside was a tiny glass bottle. It is, she cried, unstoppering the bottle and sprinkling its contents across the sky. Milo rubbed his eyes. In front of him, the darkness was peppered with little lights as the sky filled with thousands of baby stars. Thank you so much for delivering my babies, Milo. What a star you are. Make a wish, any wish, and it will come true. Milo watched Stella hug her babies tight, and then something in the mailbag gave a loud crack. The egg! Suddenly, Milo knew exactly what to wish for, to be back home with his family. With the eggs held safely in his arms, special delivery, he called. For us? asked Milo's dad. I love surprises in the post. Let's unwrap it. I think it's unwrapping itself, said Milo. I'm back, called Milo's mom, coming over for a hug. How's the egg? It's a boy, said Milo. Good heavens, said Milo's dad, reading the label on the parcel. He'd been keeping warm all day. To a very special big brother. Now who in the world could that be? Oh my goodness, the dad penguin was keeping a package warm instead of the egg. And the package is for Milo, for a very special big brother.